This is a quick revision video for the media type section of the National 5 course. Which covers some of the things you need to know and some of the typical exam questions you might be asked. So first, the standard file formats. We've got a list of different standard file formats on the screen that you may be asked about. And really what you need to know is what exactly are standard file formats. And these are simply files created in a program that can be opened in other programs other than the ones are created in. So for example, this is really useful for people who work at home and in an office as they are able to save their work when they're at their office, take that work home with them on any um, type of back in storage and work on it at home and they don't have to worry too much about this, the file format they save it in as long as it's a standard file format. And if they've got different software for working on the audio file or for working on the graphic at home, if they save it in a standard file format then they're guaranteed it will be able to open on whichever program they use. So some of the typical standard file formats you might be asked to identify for text are rich text format and TXT. Rich, ter for rich text format is a bit better than TXT as it remembers some of the formatting information for your text files. For audio you'll probably recognise MP3 files given that most people these days have an MP3 player which again is just a method of, of, of uh, storing audio which is generally widely used. The graphics I'm sure you'll recognise um, for JPEGs, bitmaps, GIFs and PNG files, again all standard file formats for storing graphics. And video again I'm sure many people will recognise MP4 as the format that's usually recorded on certainly Apple phones anyway. A huge important part of this area of the course in media types is actually calculation of the file size of bitmap images which will be covered in another video and it's really important you're able to do that because it's generally a three mark question. And you will need to know how bitmaps are stored as well as vector graphics which should be covered in another topic but just quickly bitmaps are stored by remembering and storing the colour of every pixel in the image in a list. You need to be able to describe factors which affect the file size of all of these different media types. For example for audio the things that affect the file size, as well as the quality of it, are the sampling rate and the sampling depth. Now the sampling rate is just simply how often that the computer measures the audio that it is trying to recreate in a digital format. And the sampling depth is an in indication of how much data it will store at each time it takes a sample. If you increase both of these, any of these, it will increase the file size requirements for your audio file, but it will also have the trade-off of storing a much better quality audio closely reflect the original sound file. Similarly, the file, uh, sorry, the effectors that affect the file size for an, for an image are the colour depth and the resolution. Now, the resolution is measured in dots per inch, and a higher resolution image most likely will have a much, much higher quality than one with a lower resolution but also again would have a higher or sort of a larger capacity required to store it in back in storage as well as the colour depth would increased from one bit colour depth which is simply black and white images all the way through to true colour which is 24 bits for every single pixel which is stored and again having a higher colour depth gives you a greater quality final image but it requires much much more back in storage to store the image. One thing that can also affect the file size is the use of compression. Now that's really important in modern devices. And compression simply reduces the file size of an image, of a graphic, of a video, so that it takes up less back in storage capacity. And this has lots of advantages and a few disadvantages. It will take less time to upload and download it to websites such as Facebook and so on. And your memory cards and your phones, it will take up less space to store an image or less uh, space to store an audio file which means you can store more on your devices but also it has the effect of it reduces the actual quality of an image or, or of an audio file and there's a couple of different types of compression you may know about and one's the lossy compression which would have an effect on the overall quality of the final image or the final gra uh, audio file and you would, there would be a noticeable difference in the quality to reduce the file size as well as lossless compression, which you shouldn't notice the quality difference in the file at all. 
and these are some of the questions that you're likely to get asked in media types and it is worth your while practicing bitmap calculations until you're really confident with those because it's a guaranteed three marks that will be in the final exam.